guys welcome to java tutorial for beginners oops concept this is my second video so we have learned what is the oops concepts and uh, second one is what is the concept it was involved so we have covered object with example so which is entity and state and behavior so second one is a class so class is a it is a collection of objects means it is having data members data members as well as mem member functions like methods method one method two etc etc if it will have so let you show you with a simple example so that you can understand what it will class have and uh, what is a main method actually it will do so let me go through once so we have created one penthouse right previously i have removed those all methods so i have main methods and which is a command line arguments and uh, class name will be declared with uh, public class this is a class is a keyword and uh, pent name this is a name of the class so i have created one more class so which is a class under one package okay so we are running execute this house methods everything data members under this public static void main why because it is having only one starting method jvm will be identified and it will execute the number of classes so i have created one class so which is having a different variables okay so let me provide you the value yes so take the one house right this one just like that one string uh, property so it will have property name just like house name let me take the house name so that you can understand very easily house name right so in order to call these variables into this class we have to create we have to create objects houses okay new so we have to simply create this is a objects and instances so by creating these objects of this class you can access all the methods variables everything will be accessed by in this main method which is executing under this paint house so let me create one uh, <coughs> simple uh, get and setter method so that you can easily understand so instead of directly providing the value i'm providing the using method so how we will provide public y set so property value okay so void means which is having no return it will not return anything so int i'm just giving the property value so it is not adding it just add this dot property value equal to property value right yes i need to use get method public is the int get property value so which will return which will return property value right so why i'm setting and get method i'm using you can understand public y set house name which is a string string house name okay so this dot house name equal to house name and uh, i'm using public string this is string right get house name so return t u r n return house name so i have using get and set method why i have used you can understand now you can understood in next in this one see i have used house set house with new object so let me call dot set set property value here you we are writing 
the value of the property user so instead of writing like this we are writing within a method that is the value file as one two three four five right next from dog set property property name now let's write property name name what is the name it is a string right yes the will know house now what I'm I want to print I want to print that house dog get what is the get name get name right else house dot get value okay now house name I just write house name is the cost of the cost of something right house name is the cost of something okay let me run this one you can understood very easily run as java application so with the help of set and villa house is the cost of 5 lakhs okay here you have to provide the space let me run this one so villa house is the cost of 5 lakhs so instead of declaring the value here now with the help of object i'm directly creating the method so that i can use this method in any class in any other classes i can use this method if i uh, uh, houses right i'm using villa houses paint houses and uh, small hut houses so different classes i can use this setter and get method this is a useful for creating the one class this will call as encapsulation so i'm hiding binding the data into one class number of classes binding the those data into single class single entity that is encapsulation so it means hiding the data what are the value what is the code i'm hiding in another class i'm running in a main class so by this class you can know that i'm hiding the data in in this class so like this you can use number of classes to create the number of object number of different different functional this is a different different example okay and, uh, if you have any doubts please provide in the form of comments so that i can give you the details each and every questions i will provide you with the help of answer okay thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and please provide your valuable comments on this video please share and please provide your likes okay thank you